guys and welcome to my channel Flame of the Four. In this video we're going to be doing stage 66 the LEDs and ceiling light system. So with that you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So this is the ceiling light system. We will be installing all these in and testing them. Uh, I don't have, you will need six AAA batteries. I don't have six AAA batteries, so I'll have to go out and get some, and then maybe we'll come back and test them in the next video. But you will need to be testing these to make sure that everything works. So I'm gonna grab all these out, and then we'll be back in just a sec. Once you've got all your cables sorted out guys, you want to just kind of just keep them in a neat uh, place and we're just going to bring the model around here so you guys can see what's going on. So, the first thing it's asking us to do, I'm taking S, O and P because this is the ones it's asking for us to connect first and as you can see on the end here there's LED light. So this is O and that just connects into the O in here. So you just need to make sure you get it the right way around for when you're putting it in place. Like I said, the best way to tell if it's going in right is to just line up the colors on both sides so you know that they're gonna be in place. You will need to test these to make sure that they're gonna work. So they're the first ones they're asking us to put in. So they are the O's. And then there's two more LEDs here. The best thing to do is straighten it out um, as much as you can just to keep them nice and neat but just remember these are wires so do not um, break them by pushing too hard the next one they want us to connect is the P so we just need to find on the front section here the P and we just need to make sure we get it around the right way so that just goes into there like that and let's click that in so that's the other one Gonna lay those down and then the next one is asking us to put in is s so we'll just pop that down there and then we'll find s which is just here and uh, this one is going to be the same so just make sure that the black meets or matches the black and that the blue matches the blue so that you don't get them in the wrong places slide them in and click and then you should have these leds like this so they're them ones. So the best thing to do is just keep them neatly out of the way. I'm just going to run them along the um, seat, just there out of the way for now, and then just check what it wants us to do. So on the back section, it wants us to have uh, V, T, and X for the back. So we'll just do that. So these are just on here. So I need to find V, T, and X. And these have got little switches on them as well. So that's pretty cool. So this is uh, T. There's a smaller one, which is V. And then there should be um, an X somewhere, which we'll just find, which is X here. So they want us to attach this on the back section. So I'm gonna bring it around this way so you guys can see on the, on the back section. So we need to just find these ones on the back here. So V, T, and X, and then just connect them up. So there's T there. And there's T here, so this is quite a long one. And what you need to do is you just need to make sure you get it around the right way. And the way you know that it's around the right way is there's a little um, tab on the top and that just clicks into that little tab. So that's the first one. So the next one we need to find is V, and that's just here. And we're gonna just turn that around and then just pop that one in place as well. So that is V. And then the other one that we have is X. So we just need to just check, there we go, and X is just there. So V, T, and X is there. And then we're just gonna click that into place, like so. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a tiny bit of fabric tape. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing this because I'm just trying to keep everything together. So the ones that we've done, the V, T, and the X, I'm just gonna tape all those up together so we know that them ones are done. Keep those nice and neat. And that'll just keep those in place. So these are the ones we've just done here. I'm just gonna put those and leave those in on the interior, out of the way, and just see what else it wants us to do. So the next thing it wants us to do is U, U, and W, which is fine. Uh, so that's U. And then we've got 
W. So here's W here. So we can just connect that up using the little tab at the top and put that into place. And then we have a U, which is just there. So we'll connect the U up. There you go. So those are now together. So what I'm going to do, a tiny little bit of tape. As I said, this is really, really not necessary for you to do, guys. Just the two that I'm doing, I'm just going to tape them together so I know that they are in place. Just using a little bit of electrical fabric tape. So they're there, and then I'm going to pop those up onto here. So they're done, they're done, and then they're done. And let's have a look. So, right. So it's asking us to kind of really test it. So we're just going to have a quick look because I think we need to connect some more bits on the app. So firstly, uh, at this point, you can now test the electronics you have fitted are correct are working correctly. Uh, firstly, click the main switch into the on position. At this point, the ceiling light LED should illuminate figure A and B. Please note. The Ecto-1 requires six AAA batteries not provided. So make sure you go get yourself six AAA batteries. What we do need to do, we're not going to do that and test that yet. So they're just asking us to do the main test. I can't do this right now. Uh, the reason being is because I don't have six AAA batteries. So they're saying that this is what it should look like at this stage. I'm just going to check we didn't miss anything because we do have a Q and R still left over. Um, but I'm not seeing here where it's asking. Oh, so we needed to do Q and R back here. So that's fine. We'll go get Q and R and do that as well. So these are going to be on the back wheel. And they're Q and R. So all the front ones are connected. And we'll get Q and R. Let's have a look on here. So that's Q. So there's Q. And we'll attach Q to that one. And we will go get some AAA batteries, guys, so we can try this out. So just pop that in place. So that's Q. And just got to find R. R will be here somewhere. That's M. There's R. Pull R out. And there's R. So R will be here attached. So we will need to, to go, like I said, go get some, go get six AAA batteries and just test these out to make sure that all of these are working. Just gonna feed those down the back there. And again, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of tape on just to hold these two in place. Just so we know that them ones are done. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting any tape down the bottom just in case they need to tee off somewhere. I'm just doing this so that I know that them ones are neatly in place there. Now I'll fold those around and just leave those sitting in on the inside of the body. So, as I said, it's asking us to test it and make sure everything's illuminated. It's saying to pretty much do this, test everything to make sure all of the illuminations come on. I can't do that right now, uh, like I said, because I don't have three, uh, six AAA batteries. So I'm going to go get those. Um, the foam zone is showing how things are made, how the marshmallow guy is made. Um, Frog Ghost is talking about uh, supervising spooks. So much cool reading here, guys. Right, so it looks like um, that is pretty much it for this uh, issue, which is cool. So we will be coming back and doing some more. It looks like that we'll be getting in the next set of issues some more LEDs. Looks like we're going to be getting the main frame of the vehicle, so that's going to be really exciting. So can't wait to do that with you guys. This is what we have up and coming. Uh, cannot wait to build more of this with you. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you can, please subscribe just by clicking down in the bottom corner and uh, set the bell if you don't want to miss out on any more videos like this. And thank you very much for watching and see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.